Hi, in this tutorial I am going to show you how to increase or decrease the hard disk size of a virtual machine in VMware. Open disk management to get an accurate overview of the partitions on your computer. In this case, I have one hard disk, zero with a total capacity of almost 60 gigabytes. To resize or shrink the size of your virtual hard disk in VMware, right click on the virtual machine tab to open its settings dialog. Then select the hard disk. In case the expand button is grayed out, then hover the mouse over the button. The hard disk cannot be expanded because the virtual machine contains snapshots. You need to delete the snapshots first or simply clone the VM. Cloning is straightforward, but will take some time depending on the size of the hard disk. The cloned virtual machine has no snapshots. Open up the setting dialog again. Expand the hard disk capacity to create more space for files and folders of the virtual machine client. I am going to treat myself to another 20 gigabytes. You are not done yet. You need to repartition the disk. I'll show you how in a minute. Close all dialogues and power on the virtual machine. Search for disk management in Windows settings. So how to get access to those 20 gigabyte? This tool does not allow to expand the C partition. I believe you can achieve this with some DOS commands, but I'm not going into that in this video. If you like open source software, you can use Gparted. Download the ISO then boot from it. There are a variety of free partition managers. If prefer native Windows tools for visual reasons, you should try this software. It's free for personal use and does the job. Select the 600 megabyte recovery partition and move it to the end. Press OK. Now expand the C partition to include the unallocated part. Press the button to apply all changes made. The changes are visible in real-time in the disk management dialog. This is how you can expand a hard disk. Shrinking is also possible and self-explanatory. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.